Hi guys, um, just got done putting an axle in this car on the driver's side. I've been telling you it was really, really bad, worn out. Uh, it had a pretty severe shudder every time you stepped on the accelerator. So I replaced that. I didn't video that because that's uh, there's many videos, good videos about replacing those on Hondas, and they're all basically the same. So you'll find be able to find a good video if you need to see that. But what I'm on to now is I mentioned to you earlier that the blower motor. I think I mentioned the blower motor didn't work in this car the, for the heat and air conditioning, and that's the control to it right there. And what? What happens on 99.99999% of these Honda Accords of different years is, especially these, like a seventh generation, is this little piece right here burns up. This is a, what's called a blower motor resistor, and basically that's what it is. It controls and allows for your different fan speeds. And what happens is, if you apply 12 volts directly to the fan blower motor, it runs wide open but if you want it to go slower you have to somehow burn off some of that energy turn it into that electricity somehow turn it into heat and that's what these do so uh, it just basically converts the electricity excess electricity into heat and this heat sink right here projects up into the airflow and inside that box and it cools it off that's how that works and this is not this is not an idea specific to um, Honda. Uh, many, 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 many car makers use this type of arrangement. So um, sometimes when they fail, it'll only run on high. But the way this one's designed, this climate control system, it won't work at all when this thing burns up. And same with like these GM cars and trucks. They use one also similar to this. Normally you'll find it. <clears throat> kind of goes up in the bottom of the box but <clears throat> that's a common thing to fail and they just fail from use and maybe they were kind of cheap to begin with whoever made them for the particular car maker may not have really built them that robustly and so they just didn't last and one other reason is behind this glove box you take this glove box a little latch loose right here and squeeze the sides and get this glove box to drop down the cabin air filter is behind this it's in a tray that slides out like this and that thing gets plugged up and it restricts the airflow and so that thing there runs too hot and finally it burns up so yeah so we're going to replace this one and i'll show you where it's at there's an acoustic panel right here that goes under the dashboard on this Accord and you just squeeze that and take it loose and remove it and look up in here you see that right there that's that part I just showed you it's got two Phillips head screws on it. it's nothing to it to replace it now that one appears to be original because it's got little paint inspection marks on it now let's talk about this thing you see this this is a toggle switch that has been connected to two pieces of extension cord wiring which then goes down to the part of this choke. You see that going in there? What they did is they found the hot wire going to that and then they found the wire that ran the fan somehow. I don't know how they did that. And they put that thing in. Now I'm going to tell you something and I'm not going to spare anybody's feelings. If you do that, something like that, instead of just replacing this one part yeah, you save $60 for not replacing that part. But if you do that, you are stupid, stupid, stupid because I ran this thing for two minutes, that thing on, and it got so hot that I couldn't hardly touch it to turn it back off again. There's no fuse on it. There's no thermal protection. There's no nothing. You'll burn the car down doing this. Do not do stuff like this, okay? Don't congratulate yourself and say, I saved $60 and now my fan's on. I'm so happy. You're an idiot, okay? I'm just telling you like it is. Don't do stuff like this. And you know what? I found stuff like this all around this car. This, I don't know, a woman driving it, you know. But apparently the man owned it and the woman drove it. I don't know the people. I don't want to know the people. I know who they are, but here's the thing. I'm not trying to be mean to people, but this thing, this car is as new as it is. 
it's not even safe to drive. I drove it to work one day and I can't took it back home and parked it. It just drove so badly and didn't have an air conditioner, didn't have a heater that could run enough to def I couldn't defog the windshield. It shook. It's got a bent wheel. Uh, the wiper blades are disintegrating because I didn't bother to go to Honda and get the correct replacement wiper refills. These use a refill, so you know. And they carry kids in this car. That's the worst thing about it. People, you know, people do these redneck repairs or they just don't repair stuff, and the car's a death trap. Uh, had an axle about to fall out of it. You know, what gets me is. <laughs> This car was sold 18 months ago at the Honda dealership as a used car, and it was probably a very nice car then. There's probably next to nothing wrong with it at all. And they did all this to it in 18 months, and I hope they see this video, and I hope it embarrasses them, because you need to take care of a vehicle, especially if you're carrying kids in it. You know, people, <laughs> I'll get off this, but people get, they get their priorities. They get their priorities out of order, you know? They they prioritize, they won't fix their own car, yet they'll spend money on BS stuff. So, I'm gonna take those wires off and remove this fire trap right here and throw it away and fix, fix the wires where they patched into them and replace that and we'll see if the blower works. So, all right guys, have a good one. See you in a bit.